Today on Fast Food Face Off, we're doing Cinnabon versus Cineholic in the Cinnamon Roll Rumble. I'm ready to crush some calories. Let's get into it. Fast food, face off. Fast food. Welcome back, fast food fanatics. Today, we're just gonna be crushing some cinnamon rolls. We got Cinnabon. If you've ever been to a mall in America, you've probably had one of these. And we got Cineholic. It's the new kids on the block. I wanna see how these two companies stack up. Let's get into it. With help from Baker Gerald and Brousseau, father-son duo Rich and Gray Coleman opened the first Cinnabon Bakery on December 4th, 1985 in the SeaTac Mall in Seattle, Washington. While still using the same Indonesian cinnamon found in Pillsbury toaster strudels, the food court staple is still turning out its decadent rolls in under 15 minutes to its over 1,200 locations in 50 countries. After meeting in San Francisco in 2008, co-founders Shannon and Florian Radke bonded over their mutual love of animals as well as their passion for eating a plant-based diet. The couple turned that passion into the first Cineholic Bakery in downtown Berkeley, California in 2010. After appearing on ABC's television show Shark Tank in 2014, Cineholic adopted a franchise business model, which has led them to operating over 50 100% vegan locations throughout North America. First up, we got the OG cinnamon roll from Cinnabon. Anybody that's ever been to a mall, like I said before, I'm sure you've had these. That's kind of where the, uh, the Cinnabon company got its start. I know I have fond memories of them from when I was a kid and I used to be a mall employee. Uh, let's see if these live up to nostalgia's sake, right? I'll do my best to try to make this not uh, gross, but uh, I I'm a big fan of just eating with my hands. I'm just going to get right into it. You guys get a shot. First bite, it's exactly like I rem remembered it. It's warm, it's cinnamon, it's, you know, ooey and gooey and, and all the right things that you would imagine a, a cinnamon roll to be. And of course, the nostalgia and all that stuff kind of comes flooding in when you have one of these types of uh, pastries. But really good first impression of this roll. Also something to note with this, anybody who's ever had, you know, cinnamon buns or cinnamon rolls from uh, bakeries or, you know, anywhere that you can get them, even if you made them at home, uh, one of the things that you'll know that's hard is kind of getting that spiral, right? Kind of getting that almost cookbook-esque picture-perfect cinnamon roll. And Cinnabon always seems to deliver on that, right? I mean, it's, if you close your eyes, it's what you imagine a cinnamon bun to look like. You know, you get that kind of frosting glaze on top it almost glistens a little bit and then you get that tight spiral that, that cinnamon brown sugar spiral the size of them too well it's one of those things that when i've ever had cinnamon rolls i don't know why it's one of the few pastries that i kind of want it almost to be oversized when i get it i don't like the idea of kind of a small dainty cinnamon roll the cinnabon cinnamon roll something to note is that they actually have a proprietary blend for their cinnamon and brown sugar, obviously, but they kind of take it even to another level and they source their cinnamon from a special place in Indonesia that's kind of just for cinnamon bun, which is interesting that they would go kind of above and beyond to that level for a place that you think is just kind of, you know, a, a place to stop in the mall and get like a, an indulgent treat. The flavor is still very good. It's a nice balance of the brown sugar and the cinnamon. The soft and pillowiness of the roll is there. I would say the only thing that I feel like I'm missing from this cinnamon bun is a little bit more texture, all right? I think that that's like the best thing about a cinnamon roll is when you either make them yourself or you get them from a really good bakery, that there's just kind of those outer crisp edges with maybe a little bit of the burnt brown sugar that kind of leaked out over top. And uh, it just adds a little crispy note and a little texture to all the, the sweet and soft that you get from something like a cinnamon roll. Next up, we have the Cineholic kind of OG. They call this their old school bun. Just right off the rip, I know that there's going to be some differences because for all my 
veg friends out there, Cineholic is a vegan company. Everything that's in this product is vegan friendly. And one of the big things that I'm, I know is different about this bun even before I try it is that this is supposed to be some sort of a vanilla kind of glaze or frosting base on the top. And I'm curious to see how you know, it stacks up differently with and without kind of that little extra, you know, note on the back end of it. Okay. So this is very good. I can tell you right off the bat, I, I don't miss the cream cheese factor because I think that Cineholic, just off the initial bite, is leaning very much into like the the buttery notes of a cinnamon roll. So just off of that first bite, I mean, wow. The flavor that you get immediately with this as opposed to the Cinnabon is the butter, which is surprising because you think vegan, the first thing that comes to mind isn't necessarily butter. But if you were to have had this or give this to anybody, and kind of like a blind taste testing, they'd be hard pressed to tell you that one, it was vegan, and two, that that was vegan butter. It's just such a strong buttery flavor in the most appealing way possible. But I think, you know, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards team butter here. It's it's really tasty. Butter, 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 butter but tick of butter, butter, butter. So on appearance, I know that you would look at Cinnabon and it's kind of the we eat with our eyes before we eat with our mouth kind of thing. That It looks like Cinnabon would be better, right? It's a, it's a tighter spiral, it's that picturesque cinnamon bun. There's thin layers of dough rolled to make those spirals that, that uniform in Cinnabon where this is a little bit thicker and a little bit more what you would almost imagine you'd get from like a bakery, a, a rustic style of Cinnabon. And it, it just complements this so well with the buttery taste and then that texture that I kind of wish that I had gotten from Cinnabon. I'm getting a little bit more of that here where it's very soft and doughy. It's it's pillowy in texture, which is not bad. It, it works, but there is just a little bit more of a, of a bite to what Cineholic is doing. It has a, a breadier texture in an appealing way. Last bite. So now that we finished up the kind of OG cinnamon buns from both of those companies, anybody who's ever had a cinnamon roll, you know, kind of the the next way to get it would be with that caramel and pecan, uh, you know, almost turtle style, right? So I got one from Cinnabon and I got another one from Cineholic. Let's see how they stack up. So right away, it looks really good. A little less tight of a spiral than the initial one and just you know loaded with uh, some additional caramel and pecans and what was nice too about the customer service um, from Cinnabon is when I got this the guy kind of made it fresh for me even though I was one of probably the first customers there you know he pulled out a fresh bun and he kind of added the caramel and the pecans as opposed to just giving me something that was sitting there which was nice Let's see how it stacks up you start getting a little bit more of those cinnamon notes, I think more here than maybe you do with the traditional Cinnabon cinnamon roll because of that little tang, it kind of steals some of the warmer notes from the cinnamon, whereas I think the caramel here and maybe the, the pecans add a little bit more back as far as the, the warm and spice level of, of the cinnamon that you would normally get. Now that I'm kind of getting through this, you do get a little bit more of that texture that I was kind of speaking towards. If I'm being picky with the the pecans, I think it's just whether or not, you know, your team, you know, fresh chopped nuts or, or more caramelized nuts. I think that I would have liked the, these pecans to kind of get chopped and then maybe sauteed with the caramel and then put onto it as opposed to it being two individual kind of components to it. Everybody get hot nuts. Your mileage may vary, but I just think that it would have maybe made for a more complete and, and balanced bite structurally. Another little kind of fun fact for Cinnabon, part of what the company does to entice you to, you know, order and, and eat more Cinnabons is that 
they have the ovens towards the front of the restaurants. And what they'll do is if it's still not strong enough of a, of a flavor, they'll have the people that are operating the ovens kind of just bake off some brown sugar and cinnamon on pans so that every 30 minutes, which is the time that they cook off on for their rolls, when they open the doors, it kind of just wafts through and you get that really appealing uh, smell and kind of comforting smell of cinnamon. Enough of that. Let's finish her up. Last bite. So last up is Cineholics kind of take on a, a turtle bun. The difference between this one and Cinnabons is that Cinnabon is more of a caramel pecan bun where this is caramel pecan and then you also have, uh, I believe, a chocolate drizzle on this as well. Let's see how it stacks up. Definitely a good looking bun. As soon as you open it, you just get wafted in the face with uh, with butter. See how it tastes. Again with Cineholic, something that I feel like is appreciated is the, the thickness of the layers. It is rustic and it's appreciated. The the kind of the mouthfeel, the texture that you get when you bite into these holds up, I think, two toppings a bit more this way than Cinnabons does. You can get these customized, you can get them with, you know, a bunch of different fruit toppings and, and they have a ton of different creams. But I would say going back to the, the turtle kind of flavor that I'm getting from this, the texture is good, but I feel what is maybe a bit unappealing and maybe that's the reason why Cinnabon didn't lean into it, is that the chocolate, in my opinion, is not helping this at all. The chocolate flavor is not a rich or, or compelling flavor of chocolate. It tastes like artificial chocolate syrup. So as I get more through this bun, the texture is nice, it's appealing. I feel like I do like the structure and texture of the buns here more so than I do with Cinnabon. The chocolate is just so overpowering that you're losing really any of the other notes that you would get in this. So you're not getting much of the cinnamon and you're not getting much of the caramel. It's just kind of a chocolate pecan bun. And at the end of the day, if those are the only two elements, the chocolate and the quality of it is just so distracting, it's taking away from the rest of the good things about this particular bun. Another thing that I forgot to mention with this company, which is kind of cool, uh, I don't know whether or not you guys are a fan of the show, but Cineholic actually was on Shark Tank. I don't think that the company obviously got its start there, but they appeared on the show and I do believe that they, they got an endorsement or some sort of deal from that show. And that's kind of, I think, how they became uh, a nationwide chain similar to what Cinnabon is. It's a little food for thought. So now that the rumble's over, which one uh, is the victor, right? So Cinnamon Bun, or Cinnabon rather, it's very nostalgic and it, it brings back a flood of memories when you eat them and, and it's, it's, a, it's almost a comfort food, right? And then you have a, a new company like this, Cineholic, that's kind of doing things differently. It's vegan. They have a lot more uh, topping options. What's cool about this company, I didn't uh, want to kind of forget that, is that they offer um, a local ice cream company called Cookman Creamery at the one that's by me. And they also offer Dole Whip, which is cool because I'm definitely a huge Dole Whip fan. What's up, Team Disney? So it's nice that they offer kind of those other variety of options and you can see that it's geared towards a, a more fun kind of vegan millennial market. That being said, if we're just kind of talking food for food here, roll for roll, I think I liked the original Cineholic more than I like Cinnabon, surprisingly. I think that the texture of the bun here was more appealing than the texture there. I think aesthetically it's a nice bun. I think it's one of those things that maybe if you're a food photographer, I'd probably go with this one. But if you're, you know, looking for a really tasty Cinnabon or a cinnamon bun rather, I, I'm I'm gonna go with Cineholic here. I think that the butter flavor that they have, the texture of the bun, the kind of rustic vibe that they had with this, just overall is a better whole bite than what Cinnabon has going on. It almost feels like if you closed your eyes that this is something might, that might be coming out of you know your oven. I'm gonna say right off the bat that there wasn't any comparison in kind of the turtle department or the, the caramel pecan bun. Heads and shoulders over this company was Cinnabon. The caramel and the pecan only accented the cinnamon and brown sugar that much more in this, 
which kind of established more of the warmth and the kind of the, the home style feel that you, you look for when you get cinnamon rolls. It was just, it was really, really tasty. And uh, I would absolutely go back to get the caramel pecan bun over the original bun from Cinnabon any day of the week. Cineholic, I get what they were going for, good in theory, not in practice. If you're going to do something that has chocolate on it, especially in a, a roll like this where it's supposed to be kind of warm and, and cinnamon and brown sugar forward, you have to be careful about one, the quality of the chocolate, and two, how much of it and how it's implemented in the, uh, the pastry. So for me, I think it would have been better suited for this to maybe have chunks or chips studded throughout the roll and to kind of see how that played into the overall flavor and mouthfeel. The clear winner for the, the turtle is, is the Cinnabon and then the clear winner for the OG flavor surprisingly is Cineholic. Again, your guys' mileage may vary, but uh, that's where I'm at. Somewhere here, you know, I'm gonna have the, the calorie count for you guys. Obviously, when you think of a Cinnabon or a cinnamon roll, especially, you know, this company, people always just think, you know, tons and tons of calories. Not saying they're not heavy in the calorie department, but they aren't any worse than, I think, any other company when it comes to kind of indulgent treats. I think that if you're shopping around for these kinds of treats, you're probably not overly worrying about what the, uh, the calorie count is. And I know both of these companies offer smaller varieties of the same buns. They kind of have mini buns and you feel a little less guilty about having those. As far as the price department goes, Cinnabon is a little bit cheaper. The reason being is that Cinnabon is just a larger company. It's owned by a consortium that owns like, you know, Carvel and Annie Ann's pretzels. So they probably have been doing business longer and working with suppliers longer to get a better deal. Cineholic is a newer company and also it's vegan. So you know, when you have those kind of things added into the equation, it's not a surprise that even though they're comparable in size and in flavors in a lot of way, that this would be about a dollar fifty more for the two rolls than Cinnabon. Well, that about wraps it up for us here at Fast Food Face Off. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, make sure to smash that like button. And if you're not following us already, Subscribe to the channel and turn that notification on so that you can see what we have planned for the next video. Make your way on over to our Instagram so you guys can let us know what you want to see in future videos. Also, comment below, are you team pecan caramel or OG cinnamon roll? And remember, from us here at Fast Food Face Off, if you are what you eat, always eat amazing.